Well, What's happening, Cam? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jake here uh, at APS in the Drain Gear Podcast Studio. We're excited to be back with another episode of the Drain Gear Podcast. And I've got a very special guest in the studio today, Miss Caitlin Stansel, known as Katie. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast studio. Thank you. Yeah, I know you're a little nervous, but that's little okay. <laughs> yeah. This is her first uh, first time doing a podcast, so we're trying to get everybody in the company in here at some point. Like, I'd like to get everyone from the whole crew and the whole team like in here talking about something. So, awesome. um, tag, you're it. Today is your day. Oh so, boy! All right, <laughs> moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can do this. All right, so um, we're just gonna jump right in. Okay. Um, I've got another one of these to shoot right after this, which is also very exciting. So. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about um, how we met. Okay. Um, I was shopping for a new truck, and this was about almost exactly four years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. So four years ago, I went into a local Ford dealership and was looking for a diesel pickup truck, and you were there, and it was your turn to handle whatever customer came through the door, and I was it. Yeah. And um, so it was a couple-week-long process because I had... You didn't quite have exactly what I wanted on the lot. Um, you knew that some things were coming in. Long story short, came back, uh, went on test drive. You were very prepared, very organized. It was a very good experience. And um, I thought, you know, I could use somebody like you uh, in the business. And so I said, I'd love to make you a job offer. And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. So you uh, you sold me a truck that I didn't want. Um <laughs> Uh, so Must I knew, have been good at my job. I knew you were, I knew you were good at sales because I wanted a white truck and ended up with a black truck. So thank you very much. You're welcome. But I do love, I do love my truck still to this day. So, um, but anyway, yeah. So that was um, it was a, a blessing in disguise to me because you've been absolutely wonderful to have around. Um, like I said, you've been here for four years. You've been a, a crucial part of the team, um, and you you were with us through the Picote years, um, growing Picote in the United States and. Uh, so we had a good time doing that and learning lots about uh, the industry. And now you are our general manager. Yeah. So what do you get? Walk us through a day in the life of Katie at APS. Well, um, it's a little bit of everything, uh, making sure deadlines are met, um, mm -hmm. products are sold. But yeah, just try to make sure everything runs smoothly and yeah. Yeah, and you do a, keep you all do the a heck of all the gears job. turning. That's right. Yeah, you do a good job at it. Um, you you kind of handled some of the higher uh, level things like back office type stuff. That's really crucial. Like you said, deadlines is a big one. Um, making sure that you know stock and inventory, shipping's going smoothly, things like that. And so um, you know it's really important. And one of the things that um, you've been able to help orchestrate and organize for us here is a new and exciting deal that we have going uh, with some of this beautiful equipment that we have behind us. Um, rigid. Absolutely. Rigid Got it on my shirt here. That's why I wore my, my rigid like pullover today. <laughs> so um, normally I have my API, I have my APS shirt on underneath, but uh, today's about rigid and we wanted to talk a little bit about that. You've been kind of instrumental in helping to organize that and set it up and we're super excited about it. Um, we're starting to see inventory flow in. We're getting some stock in place and uh, that's really exciting. Um, what, uh, what you've done a lot of the ordering, you've seen a lot of the paperwork and the part numbers. And so you're getting, you're starting to really get well-versed in this. Yep. Um, there's a lot of parts, but we're used to that, right? Um, what, what are some of the, the, the items that we're going to be stocking here at APS? So, so mainly Diagnostics and drain cleaning are going to be our fortes. Yep. We are going to have um, some pressing as mm -hmm. well, but um, we have a good inventory of sea snake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. It's a lot of S's. <laughs> sea snake reels and uh, the monitors to go with them. We've got locators, the Scouts SR24s, so utility and plumbing locators. Nice. Um, and then we're waiting for some some pressing tools to come in to, to load up the shelves. Yeah. Um, flex shaft, too. Yes, That's a big, shift. big part of um, what we're doing. You know, the high-speed drain cleaning has become extremely popular. It's it's a vital process in, in our business with the lining and patching and all the different things that uh, we train on and do here. 
Um, so high speed drain cleaning is a, is a huge topic. So carrying the flex shaft uh, line of, of products now is, is really exciting. Um, all the grinding chains and little cutter balls and all the different things that go along with that. Um, also, we're able to offer the jetters. Um, they have a, a little um, assortment of jetters that are kind of nice for guys that are doing small uh, small diameter drain cleaning and jetting. So, uh, Absolutely. so yeah, we're pretty stoked about that. Um, I know that we're you know, looking at getting more and more inventory added to draingear.com, which is really nice. Um, so that'll be really good for us as well. Um, and we've got a, a training coming up, as I understand yep. it. You've been organizing that as well. So tell us a little bit about what that is and how that's going to be important for our, our clients. So we're going to go and get hands-on with some um, drain cleaning and diagnostics tools um, yep. up in Elyria, Ohio at their headquarters. Um, it's coming up in about a week and a half two weeks so nice. we're looking forward to it really getting to know the products well so we can uh sell them to their full potential yeah and the one thing i've understood is that's a very thorough training up there you Absolutely. really get down to the the nuts and bolts of things and really understand it and so uh we've got a, a small crew of people going um so that we're really knowledgeable on the things that we need to know there's a lot of parts there's a lot of different features with some of these things you know you mentioned the scout in the sr24 very uh similar in what they do but also very different in what they do um you know the, the sr24 has so many different bells and whistles and really cool things and so to be able to learn how to navigate all the menus and really be able to to um execute training for our clients here at APS, um, it, it's a crucial part of that training process. And so um, we're huge on training. We talk so much about training our clients, um, but there, there's an element of training that we always try and focus on ourselves, learning more and more. We spend a lot of time on webinars. We spend a lot of time traveling to go learn about the products that we stock and carry so that we can be the absolute best from a support standpoint and from a training standpoint. Um, tell us a little bit about training. We, you book a lot of training you have for many, many years. You've booked hundreds, dare I say thousands of trainings <laughs> yeah. um, over the past four years that you've been with us. We've done so many trainings back in the Picote days. And now as APS, we seem to kind of, you know, need to install a revolving door on the front of this place because yep. people are constantly coming and going from a training standpoint. And I don't think it's going to slow down, especially now that we're, we're offering the rigid products. So right. tell us a little bit about the training experience and what people can expect. Yeah. So our training program, we take a lot of pride in it. So um, when you come here, you know, it's, it's an investment in time and energy, but it's it's a really good experience because it's basically like a, a mini boot camp. We get your hands dirty. We we um, try to make it as real as you know being out in the field and doing it, you know, with your guys out there. Mm -hmm. um, we help with accommodations, so if you need help, um, we've got corporate discounted rates for hotels, um, rental vehicles through Enterprise and National. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we provide food and it's a good experience it's a lot of fun yeah. with the guys we get to cut up and you know get to learn you got learn from you guys and yeah it's training here is fun um it, most of the time you know if if i'm out there you know what i'm seeing is you know the guys are having a good time but they're really learning they're really in you know, involved in what's happening. And we do try and make it as realistic as possible. We try and uh, set up different scenarios and pipe segments and different things as, as best we can, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and we're always learning all the time. We're always getting feedback on, on what's important to people when they come and train. And uh, we want it to be a nice experience and have a good time when they're here. Um, but, you know, training is is not where it stops. We we train crews here. We train crews in the field. So we'll get people out on site if people need us. Um, and then virtual. Uh, virtual has obviously, with COVID, has become a very popular option as well. And so we do quite a bit of virtual training. I would venture to say that on the rigid side of life, we could probably do a lot of virtual trainings. Uh, once the, the customers have the product, we could get it in front of them and have the same product in front of us and share with them how to use a locator, how to do some of the different things. Um, there's also a lot of great resources. Rigid has a plethora of different videos and um you know, support documents, their their user manuals are quite thorough and uh, very helpful. So there's a lot of resources there. And of course, a lot of people are very familiar with their products already, but uh, they have great resources. And that's really good for us to be able to support our clients as well. So, and from a support standpoint, that's another big part of our business. Um, you know, going out and, and being on site with people, helping them with lining and, and understanding that is a huge part of our business. Um, and it's something that, you know, we're certainly able to do. What, when a client calls and they need that kind of support, what, what typically is the procedure for that as well? So, of course, we got to get, you know, 
get to know you guys. What size pipe are you typically working in? We need to learn, you know, what kind of materials can you use in, in your area? What mm-hmm. can't you use in your area? So we can make sure that um, we guide you in the best direction, um, you know, checking schedules, making sure everything, you know, lines up. Um, yep. And it changes a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, we've had trainings where it's like, um, you know, literally you're, you're ready to, you know, to take off on an airplane and people call and they're like, Hey, um, yeah, this didn't work out or it fell through, you know? So, um, there's lots of, you know, we, we adapt, um, in a lot of ways, I Mm -hmm. would say, I think we're pretty flexible as a company. Absolutely. Um, you know, we try and accommodate our contractors and be available for them, you know, from a support standpoint. Uh, I know last night I got a a text from Ari that was like, my phone's blowing up. It's been blowing up. (laughs) All oh, night no. long. And I think that, that was at like eight o'clock. And, you know, we, we try to be there, you know, and, yeah, it, and it was a group text, you know, and everybody yeah. was looped in. I think even you were looped into that text yeah. group, group. And, you know, we we take it serious. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we value our family time, but we also understand that we're in an urgency business and guys are out there, you know, we're in different time zones. Maybe we've got people in California and, you know, some of us are home and having dinner, um, but somebody's struggling in the field. And, and we do our absolute best as a team to help navigate that, I would say. Well, the way that I look at it, you know, we got to help them be successful because if they're not successful, we're not going to be successful. That's true. So, yeah. you know, yeah, it's a big part of our, our culture here at APS and um, I, I think that that is is something. The way that we do it, though, in sharing the load um, amongst each other, uh, to make sure that we're we're you know balancing that home time and uh, the work time to the best of our ability. You know, uh, yeah. we're not superheroes, but we sure try to be for you guys right. uh, out there. And um, you know, we're we're not necessarily perfect either, but we really really do try to be as as good as we possibly can for you guys and be accommodating and, and, and supportive. So. Um, yeah, so it's exciting. So the rigid stuff is super exciting for me. Um, we've already done quite a bit of sales so far, um, yeah. which is really exciting. Um, you know, people are, are definitely looking for, you know, resources and equipment and places to get it. And I, I think that, you know, we've we've shown uh, we've shown the industry that that, uh, you know, we're, we're a, a valuable asset to people. And, and uh, there's a lot of people that trust us. And we certainly appreciate that. If, if you're one of our clients, and you're listening to this, we really appreciate and value your business and who you are. A lot of you are friends, you know, we, we build close relationships with, uh, with our people. And so uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts, we sure appreciate it. So um, well, how do you think it went? This wasn't bad, right? I mean, did you have fun? So Are we done? It's our first part. Yeah. Well, we're about to be. This okay. is like my closing statement. <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll figure it out eventually. The I'll next one will be better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. So she's a rookie. Yeah. She'll figure it out. Yeah. But no, it's fun, right? It is fun. Yeah. 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 Good. Well, thanks Good for time. joining me. Yeah, and thank you. Um, I'm thanks excited to see me. where all this stuff goes with the with the rigid. Um, we're really excited about it. And I think it's going to be a great part of our business. And if you need anything, guys, let us know. Reach out to Katie. Um, you can email her at katie at draingear.com or we can uh, be reached uh, on our phone number here at APS. Check us out on social media. Please give us a follow and a like on the posts uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the Drain Gear podcast. We're going to have a lot more good content coming soon. And uh, we're excited about this summer and all the cool things we've got going on here at APS. So For sure. We appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Jake. I'm Katie. See you later, guys. Bye.